All right, y'all. This is Todd from Reboot Yourself. How's everybody doing today? Guys, this is not a complete tutorial on how to put these incubators together, but I want to show you all a few things that I found make life a lot easier. The instructions that come with this brooder grow out pins, I didn't understand them. I am a mill rat. I do all kind of words. I put all kind of stuff together. It took me four hours to put this first set together. But guys, I'm gonna show you a few tricks that I found putting these incubators to be together, the brooder boxes. That makes life a whole lot easier. All right, I got the box open. That's the top of the box. This is what comes in it. Guys, this stuff comes in about six different boxes for this triple setup. What this is, is you got the, incub the incubator is actually in the back. This is the uh, brooder on the bottom with the heater, with the light you can see on. Right on top of it's a grow out pin. And now I'm putting the third grow out pin on it. And I'm gonna show y'all some tricks that I found on the way. Before I even go any further, right here on the bottom, these tires. You got your four squares. The instructions show you how to put them together. Don't just grab them and start putting your four bolts in this bottom. These two right here has to go together. You got one standing up, one laying down. Your tires go up against it. They all bolt together. That was a trick that I found right there. I put all four of them on there first. And I take them all back off again because it's got another piece that holds on. That's the only piece that I've found that's three things put together. You can see the little bitties putting their heads out eating. These are the GQF Brooder setup. Universal box Brooder. Your bottom box is where your heater's at. The one I purchased is a triple. That's the second one, and I'm gonna show you all the third one. I couldn't show you this as I was going because I was learning it myself. It's my first time to ever put these together. You see the temperature is 89 and right, right now. I got it set on 90, I believe is what it is. It's steadily coming up. That is the incubator box by GQF2. I got some duck eggs in there right now. Now there's two different kind of humidifier systems. You can actually put just water in there and keep an eye on your humidity. Or you can purchase this one right here, this humidifier kit. This little thing, you set the temperature of what you want, the humidity, amount of humidity. It actually pumps it inside the incubator. And it's hard to see through that door right now, but it pumps fresh air and it keeps the humidity perfect. See, it's at 55, 56 right now. This is the controller on the incubator box. Humidity is 52. It'll be all equalized in a minute because I just opened the door and sprayed them eggs. It stays perfect. All right, let's get back to the box. Next box right here. This is the, one of the brooders. This is going to be my third stack to go on top. See how it's got the hole right there? They are made exactly the same as your bottom ones. You can actually put a heater in here and put a heater on each set. But usually you put the babies in the front. It holds up to 100 chicks. Then you separate them between the top two brooders after they're so old. That way you only got to keep heat on them at first. But that is actually your top of your uh, brooder. This is gonna be your front door. All right, notice this rail. They face out on the outside. This is your sides. I'll try to pull it back a little bit, maybe you can see it. Okay. These are your sides, and when you get them in the box, 
It's usually supposed to have three nuts with wing nuts on the front. They fall off in shipping coming. All you gotta do is just barely put them back on. This is your gate to adjust of how big the chicks are for them to get their water or in their feed. Another problem I uh, run into, see this rail? This goes on the outside. These rails face out. They will bolt up in or out. The rails go on the outside. Them rails go on the outside, that puts this groove right here on the inside. Inside this box. This is your bottom, this is your top. Bottom, top. What this groove is for is for your trays to slide inside this right here, that's your clean out tray, which is in the bottom of that box. You got the screen, that's what they said, that's what they sit on top of. Underneath that is your uh, box that slides out to be able to clean it. That's very important, y'all, because you can put these either way. You put them all together, you gotta take them all back apart to put them the right way or it will not work right. All right, I just flipped it over. The front is facing down. This is what it looks like from the top. You got two more pieces that go on the back. It's gonna be this piece right here. It's the only one in that box. If you notice on this one right here, I'm gonna show you in the top of this booger. There's two holes right here. There's one on the bottom. This thing will bolt up both directions on this top. You want this part right here on the outside. You've got another piece that slides in here. It's for another door. This plastic piece, there's another one that goes on the back. So remember, this goes on the outside. I'm gonna bolt that up and I'm gonna show you the bottom. Okay, this is your bottom piece. Top, bottom. You gotta face it the right direction. And you don't drop it. It goes like this. See how the groove is right here? It matches that groove there. That's for the piece to slide in here, the plastic piece, which looks just like this. Outside, outside. And when you put these screws in, they're all about the same, they're all the same screws that come. You got a nut, and then you got a Phillips screwdriver head. Do not tighten them up. I am using a little small impact to put them in quicker. If you tighten them up, they do not want to come back out. The, the threads gall on it, and it makes them hard to get out. So leave them loose until you set it up there and get it, got to square it up with loose bolts. Then you tighten them up. All right, let me put these bottom ones in there. Look, we got a few chicks sticking their heads out eating now. I'll tell you about them in a second. Okay, I got the bottom on. There's the top. If you notice, you got this groove that's on the inside. Inside, that's where your tray slides. All right, once you get this bottom piece on, you slide this, it's a light blue color. That's your screen that they walk on. You got the rails right here. The rails go down so they're not stepping over the rails. You have a flat top. This is gonna be where they stand. You put it in before you put this other piece on the top. Now I got the slots in the bottom. I'm fixing to slide the tray in the bottom. All right, this is the catch pan. Your tray that goes in the bottom, that's the inside of it. This is the bottom, they got a little, little plastic on it you gotta pull off. All right, that's how it looks. Now you got this other piece that slides in the top right here. It's just like your side piece.
Size right in the groove. I don't know what I'm catching right now, but oh, okay. These little bolts right here are catching. Let's pick it up a little bit over the top of that. All right, that slides in right there. What this does right here, as your chicks are small, your feeders and your water hangs on the side of this thing. You adjust this up. Just enough for them to get their head through. You don't want it too high because they'll come through it. Just barely open it to the size of chicks that you got. This is what it looks like on the side. You loosen these wing nuts, you just go up and down as they grow. I'm gonna have the feeders on one side and the water in the front. What you see in that front is I got some electrolytes I put in that water. I always put it in there with the newborn chicks. It seems to help them out a little bit. You also gonna have two doors that come with this. That is for the top of your brooder. I don't know why they send you. I'm gonna have two sets of extra doors that come. You also have this piece right here. This piece right here is what your heater connects to. Your heater, you got your four bolts right here. This is where your heater bolts to. And this just sits on top of your bottom piece. That's your, that's your brooder that's on the bottom. The incubator part that heats them up, keeps them warm. It's not the grow out part, it's the brooder part. In between on this one, since there's, it's a stack, you get this piece right here that comes, right there. That is an optional piece. It comes with the set. You do not have to put it in there. It will bolt up without that piece, but I put the screens in the front so you can actually see what's going on in there without opening the doors. And it also, it makes it more sturdy. They say you can go five high on these things with no problem. A problem I run into on this one is my table's not big enough. I don't have it up real high. It's not on the, on the ground to roll around. I got it up the same height as my incubator. But I'm tall, so I like my stuff up a little bit. So what I did right here is I took a screw out and I run me a six inch screw all the way down into this. In case my grandkids come by, I don't pull on it and they pull this off on them because it rolls very, very easy. It'd be nice to set up all the way down on the concrete slab, but I'm telling you, it rolls very easy. So I went ahead and bolted it down on both sides to keep it from moving. I hope that helped you out a little bit. I don't know if y'all like me. I cannot stand to read instructions. I would rather just try to do it without the instructions. A lot of times the instructions help. The instructions that come with this uh, incubator setup and the brooder, I can't understand them. They just, it didn't make no sense to me. So I went through a lot of trial and error. I put it together, took it apart, put it together and took it apart several times until I finally figured out how it went. I looked on YouTube, watched a bunch of more tutorials that people did on this and they did a good job. I mean, they explained it, but I'm breaking it down to you to show you exactly how it goes and I'm showing you the unit itself. The pictures, if I see a picture or something, I can put it together. Reading them instructions, negatory. It just don't work with me. I should be able to read it, but I didn't get the patience to do it. Guys, I wanna tell you about these little chicks I just went and got. I just went to a sale that they're selling chickens and stuff. And y'all know the hype of the eggs right now. They're going crazy. Our feed's been, been up. Chicken eggs are outrageous. They're from seven to nine dollars a dozen in the store right now in Louisiana. At the auction, you, eggs are usually selling from three to four dollars a dozen, four to five dollars for the for the eighteen pack. I seen them a while ago go eleven dollars for the eighteen pack. They had two eighteen packs. They went for eleven dollars and ten fifty, I think on the second one. Baby chicks usually go from 50 cents to $3 for your real nice chicks. I paid $4.75 a piece for them chicks that you just seen coming out of there. There were 17 of them come out. 17 in a box, 
When you buy them in a sale like that, you buy the whole lot, all of them together, $4.75. I didn't even stay for the chicken sale. Chickens have been going anywhere from $10 to $35 for a good laying hen. I don't even know, there was so many people there tonight that there was no place to sit down. Everybody's buying chickens and buying this kind of stuff to be able to raise your own chickens. If you can raise them, get your own eggs, it's time to do it. But guys, I hope this helped you out a little bit. I'm showing you the old country boy way to do it. I learned from my lessons. And I'm gonna show you how I put this up on top and show you what it looks like all together. All right, we got it all together now. Once you get it all together, you tighten your bolts back up, everything squares up just fine. As long as you don't tighten them bolts up when you first put it all together, you're good. Well, that sounds like we got a cat quiet outside. That's what it looks like, guys. You got feeders and waters. Triple setup. Guys, you can get by without these this setup right here. With regular styrofoam incubators. Different brooders. Been doing it for years. But this is this is like the Cadillac of the of the uh, crop here. They are nice. It's a very nice setup. Uh, they GQU has just got their stuff together. They've got it built to where it's easy. You can turn out a lot of chicks quick. My dad had some of the box incubators like that, not that exact kind, but the cabinet type incubators. They rotate the eggs. They got the brooder part in the bottom. Once you put them on lockdown, you put your eggs in the bottom. 100 and something eggs in there, chicken eggs. That's a lot of eggs, y'all. Y'all can hatch a lot of chickens. And with this setup, the way it's set up, you take them out of there, you put them in the, you lock down in the bottom for three days. When they hatch, you put them straight in the bottom of this brooder, leave them there for so long. I, I don't know the exact dates, I have to look it all up. Then you separate the 100 chicks from the bottom into the top two, 50 in each one, because they're bigger. And I'm gonna take them from there and going into the barn in a grow out pen. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you out. If it helped you out any, please leave me a comment. And let me know if you, there's something I did wrong that you can see. Let me know. It'll help me out. But God bless. Love y'all. Hope to help you. Talk to y'all. Catch y'all next video. Bye bye. They ate food while they go. Now they all sticking their head and they're getting them drink of water.